Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the modular tree add-on that is free and anyone can download it. With this add-on it's possible to create a lot of trees as I mentioned in my top 10 free Blender 2.8 add-ons video which you can watch here. The basic concept of M3 is to use nodes to generate a lot of trees. To get the node editor we could go into the shading tab but that doesn't make any sense because we are not texturing with these nodes for once so let's grab this and put this here. Now swap this panel into an M3 node panel and click up here to create a new tree. Shift A is your good old friend so use it a lot to get more nodes. Usually the basic workflow consists of these nodes. The trunk node and the branch node which makes sense. You need to plug the trunk node into the branch node because if you imagine it in your head first there is a trunk and then there are branches. Also keep in mind you need these other nodes later. Ok, so seed means the randomized shape of the tree, you can change it to get different results. And just experiment with this yourself to create your own tree. The nips are pretty self-explanatory. The resolution will change how detailed the tree is. And other stuff like that. I think you get the concept of the radius and things like this, so no need to explain them. On the branch node you can define how many branches will come out of the tree. The seed value can be changed here to get different branches. Amount shows how many branches the tree will have. Split angle is how these branches are split. Other very basic and clear parameters. Yeah, start is the height of the trunk under the branches as you see. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, this is basically creating a spider web from the tree and yeah, that's okay too. You need to be careful with the split probability. Type the values in manually, if you increase this too much it will freeze Blender because it will flood it with branches. This basically overrides the amount of branches because it splits the basic 70 branches that we defined. Ok, gravity is the direction of the branches. Ok, nice. This is good, now let's create leaves. With the trig node it's easy to create texture leaves. Just click on execute. Down there is a place to change the leaf type, oh yeah. Now with the object picker on the tree parameters just pick the leaf object. Oops, I created a lot of trees on top of our tree. To stop this madness click on the X and we are done. Of course don't forget to get the leaves with the object picker. Just click on aperture and it will auto rig your tree. Down there is the randomize tree option, with a single click you can randomize it. And here with the N shortcut there is another menu with more options. Here it's possible to save the presets and load them if you have a very nice setup no tree and that's it basically. For now this is it, feel free to load in your own textures for the bug, this add-on doesn't have built-in bug textures. Ok, that's it. Now this is how to generate a lot of trees quickly. Basically push one tree out of the way, then click on this X next to the tree object name which will only this uh, node tree from your tree tree and click on create tree. Now just click on randomize tree and it's done. Your tree is super random and nice. Push this out too, unlink the tree from the nodes, click on create tree and repeat everything. With this it's easy to generate multiple trees of the same kind. Or oh, bleed? You get the idea. You can create a pine tree node and just generate 10 pine trees with similar parameters but different look, which is awesome. Think about it, what you can do with this if you actually spend a normal amount of time creating a tree instead of this. Ok, this was a Blend Burger tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. If you subscribe, turn on the notifications to see my newest tutorials and animations, and check out my CG Trader where I have free models for Blender. See you guys, CG Crafted out.